The devil is no longer in the detail of Russian oligarch sanctions. The European Union froze the assets of Russian billionaires, including Alexei Mordashov, Pyotr Avin, and Mikhail Friedman on Monday. Mordashov controls steel producer Severstal, while Friedman and Avin control Alpha Bank, a newly sanctioned lender, and Letter One, an investment fund based in Luxembourg. Had they been placed on the US specially designated nationals list, their companies would have joined them. That's what happened to holding company Ian Plus and aluminium producer Brussel when the tycoon who controlled them, Oleg Deripaska, was sanctioned in 2018. As it is, Brussels hasn't sanctioned the actual companies. Mordashov, Friedman and Avon also haven't been sanctioned in Britain so far. The other crumb of comfort would have been that Deripaska managed to convince the US Treasury that he no longer controlled Brussel and EM Plus thereby desanctioning them. A lot has happened since he did that. Some Russian banks have been kicked off SWIFT, the central bank has had most of its foreign assets blocked, and even President Vladimir Putin faces sanctions. Russian assets, especially those associated with oligarchs, are under a very dark cloud. For the billionaires, the fine print of their sanctions no longer matters. What does is that customers and investors will think twice before engaging with them. They may decide their companies are too toxic to deal with. <laughs>